I'm Aaron Peters, coming from London's Chinatown. We're here today to observe, watch what's going to happen. There is, at three o'clock, a strike, business-led by Chinese businesses here, uh, in opposition to recent UK BA raids. I'm joined by Bo. Bo, you're incredibly angry. What's upset you so much? Well, the way, as I say, the uh, UK BA um, people come in to raid in Chinatown during the last two or three months, you know. When they question me myself, you know, it, it took them half an hour to treat me. And they, they even shout at me, say, don't answer my mobile phone, you know. Uh, that's why I told him, you know, that, you know, I have to answer my mobile phone, you know. I say, you know, because I have to look at it, even if I don't answer it, because my mother is in the nursing home, you know. And I'm so careful for my mother, you know. Anything happened to my mother, they will call me, you know. No respect, nothing. Even the police don't treat me like that, you know. We didn't see one police officer at the protest. That was a marked change to what one would normally expect. And I think it speaks volumes of the difference with regards to the tactics that UKBA and the Met employ with these kinds of communities. Strong, organised, they have a voice. The police know better than overstepping the mark, perhaps, in Chinatown. UKBA, however, different story. And now they're getting a response. I'm joined by Suresh Grover, one of the organisers of today's demonstration. Suresh, there's a lot of noise. We've spoken to several people, business owners, workers. The anger seems pretty consistent. People are really annoyed. I've been told that there have been increasingly frequent uh, raids, fishing trips as they're being called, over the course of the last several months. How new is this? Well, I think what's new is that uh, 13 raids have taken place that are known to us over the last six weeks on a weekly basis. These ag raids are aggressive, they're not intelligence-led, they cause alarm and distress to people who are being raided. They are, the immigration officers who raid them are rude, there have been racist comments made to managers, and they are so aggressive, it has brought massive anger into the community. The composition of the demonstration here today is fascinating. I've seen a lot of East Asian faces, that's not a surprise. However, you're also seeing a lot of Black Britons, Unite banners, Behind me are several uh, Eastern European and Central Asian porters who work in some of the wholesale food businesses around here. On the other side, West Africans. I've spoken to a few people and they're saying that increasingly it feels like there's a very generalised grievance, specifically amongst the non-EU uh, working community, that they're being specifically targeted and that that's a political consequence of changes in migration policy since 2010. We found this gentleman here with this sign, Welcome to Fake Britain, Government Only Care for inward Chinese investment, but not our local labour shortage. An interesting angle, it's one I agree with. At first sight, this seems like a continuation of what's racist, pernicious kind of tactics by UK but there's a bigger story here, right? Absolutely. Um, I think in a nutshell, they are only trying to do a political game. They want to be seen as doing something, but they have already lost the control on the borders to the EU. But they have to be seen to doing something. And that's why they only want the people coming to invest. But when it comes to labour shortage, they don't want to know. So looking back on Tuesday's protests, a few thoughts. We have to remember, this was a boss-led strike, real rare occurrence. Over 100 businesses in Chinatown displaying these very prominent posters against UKBA fishing raids as they were being described. And for now, there's a shared interest between workers and bosses with regards to migration caps and what is deplorable, despicable treatment by the British state against uh, foreign-owned, non-EU primarily businesses, particularly in catering and the restaurant industry. What could change that? It's quite possible in the next two years, three years, leading up to the next general election, that the grievances of these bosses could be placated and we see a change of migration caps in these industries. That doesn't change, however, the racist, disgusting treatment of many of these workers. They were saying frequently they were being treated like animals. They were comparing UKBA to the SA. That doesn't seem to be the problem of the bosses, however. But final point, if this isn't resolved, uh, we see a strange mutual interest between Eurosceptics and powerful bourgeois diaspora communities, specifically the bosses. So, if this isn't addressed by the Labour Party or the Conservative Party, where do they go? UKIP?